Hi, I'm Guy Eastman, and this is Eastman's Hunting TV. On today's episode, we've got an antelope doubleheader for you. We're going to hunt in the great state of Wyoming and in Big Sky Country after trophy antelope bucks during the rut with a bow and arrow rig. We're going to be hunting with EBJ staffer Brandon Mason as he looks for a big rutting buck. And then we're going to switch gears and chase big bucks in Big Sky Country with Eastman's elevated podcast host, Brian Barney. Brian is a really accomplished bow hunter, and he loves to get out after those big bucks. During the rut in August, things are really starting to heat up. So let's get out there and chase some big rutting antelope bucks on the wide open prairies of Montana and Wyoming. It's opening morning of uh, antelope archery season. And as you can see, we're doing something a little unconventional. I've hunted this spot the last couple of years, and uh, there's always a lot of antelope in here. And uh, we've kind of become friends with uh, one of the local ranchers. He's really good about letting us hunt. And we normally hunt the public land that's across the fence from him. Um, but he kept telling us last year, why don't you guys just sit by my center pivot, my alfalfa field, and, and they're used to seeing vehicles, or, and they'll be walking all day long back and forth, sometimes within bow range and sometimes not. We'll just keep a watch out, and uh, nothing else. It's a beautiful day and opening day of hunting season, man. Here we go for 2019. This is exactly what we're looking for. This is a major highway for antelope travel through here. It was kind of like this last year, but this is even better. This is insane, the amount of tracks here. So we're gonna key into this spot as a crossing and uh, see if we can catch some antelope moving through. Set up this ground blind. We're using uh, one of the Sika tarps, the flash shelter. Got propped up with trekking poles. We're sitting in a little depression. One of the nicer bucks in the area. He's not a giant, but he's he's decent. Um, he made his way into the field, and he's kind of feeding this way. But he's an antelope, so he could make a U-turn for no reason any minute. But just keep watching him. Hopefully, he'll make his way this way. Sitting here in the morning in one of our ambush spots. There's no antelope in the field right now, but we're gonna give it an hour and a half probably. And a lot of times what they do in the morning is they feed to the corner of this alfalfa field and then come on to the public land. We got permission to hunt the uh, private land too, so it's no big deal, but there's a ton of cover up there in this particular spot. 
we saw a couple decent bucks about a week and a half ago sort of on that side of the area that we're hunting and I'm thinking that they're hanging out on the BLM land but um, who knows we'll check it out this is Eastman's Brandon has hunted antelope in this area before and is hoping his previous experience will help him arrow a quality buck again this year afternoon, they spot a quality buck and quickly put together a stock. Well, here he is, my 2019 Wyoming archery antelope. What a beautiful buck. He gave me a perfect opportunity. This is my fourth year in a row of drawing this limited quota tag. And as you can see, he's just got nice diggers on him. He hay hooks back nice. He's got kind of a nice heart shape to him. Just a beautiful buck. He's my, like I said, my best archery one to date. The best part about this whole thing is my son Hunter has been with me on all four of them and three out of the four have been with archery and uh, he's videoed the last three so uh, a rifle buck an archery buck and an archery buck and so that makes it extra special for me he even fletched some of my arrows for me a couple years ago i'm still using and uh, but what a beautiful buck as you can see we're running out of daylight and uh, we're going to break him down and uh, get them all loaded up and it's going to be kind of a fast and furious thing we're a couple hours from home we got to get back home tonight, clean everything up, and in the morning, we go back to my old stomping grounds to hunt mule deer. Should be a good time, and what a way to end this hunt. Literally shot him on the last hour, and you know, everybody says that on hunting videos or hunting TV shows. Oh, last day, the last hour. This is the last day that we're going to be able to bow hunt, unless it would run into rifle season. Well, thanks for joining us, and remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next time. Opening day of antelope season, August 15th. I'm stoked I'm out here at one of my best spots and I'm just cruising around and grabbing these different vantage points and looking over these vast coulee and canyon systems looking for antelope. So I'll try to film some myself, grab some cameraman, but I'm gonna try to capture the entire thing. So we're moving around here in the morning, so I'm gonna grab a vantage point here and see what I can do. so important in all these spots like the game is to see these antelope before they see you so you know I'm coming to these vantage points and then I'm creeping over the top and glassing all the exposed country but 
Yeah, so key to pick these things up. They have such good eyesight and they catch movement so well and you're so exposed on these tops, but you just have to creep over and then grab a vantage point, see them first so you can get a chance at them. Okay, well sitting on this vantage point, I was watching a buck over here and I had a nice buck with a doe come right over a little ridge down below me. They're in a good spot. I'm gonna drop down, just see if I can get a better look at them. See if we can make a move. It's antelope hunting, here we go. All right, that buck, he just showed up down below us on the saddle and kind of dove off the hill. We're gonna go see if we can't catch up to him here. Well, welcome to antelope season. <laughs> oh, I was close on that buck. Um, I came around the corner, tried to get the camera set up and he caught me there. You just forget, I haven't hunted them in a while. They're so challenging. Their eyesight is so good. Uh, we'll, we'll keep trying. Just gotta, you gotta be real patient. Like patience kills the buck, especially on these antelope. You know, I, I, I've just gotta sneak in close and then let it happen. So I'll work on that and uh, We'll go find another one. Welcome back. Eastman's Elevated podcast host, Brian Barney, is pursuing trophy antelope in Montana. He's glassing up plenty of bucks and is working hard to stock within bow range. So we went covering some country and we found another really nice buck. The heat waves are, the, there's too many heat waves to really tell what he is but there's a lot of black above his head and he looks really tall. So he's with a handful of does. We just gotta get up here and see what the wind's doing and see what the country offers us, but we're pumped, another stock. Okay, I got that buck relocated. He's right over the hill here just feeding. He's by himself, unaware of my presence. I'm just gonna slip down here below him and try to slip up that ditch. Only thing I got working against me is it's really quiet out. There's no wind, but um, I'm just gonna go slow and uh, see if I can creep in on him. So here we go. How exciting was that? <laughs> I can't believe that came together. Um, I was just working down this draw here and I caught all these antelope down below me and there was a good buck with them. And they were coming to this spring for water, but 
I was able to crouch down in this ditch, work all the way to them, and then cut them off as they were working back up. So that was just absolutely awesome. I'm stoked, really nice buck down. Let's go get a look at him. Well, here he is. Beautiful antelope. Man, am I just stoked. Um, I love chasing these things around the prairie. They're so challenging, their eyesight's so keen, and, and, and just hunting them with a bow and arrow, um, it's about as fun as it gets, I really think it is. Um, so yeah, I'm just stoked. Got a nice antelope here, gonna get a few photos, and uh, we'll get them broken down and taken care of and back on ice, and then uh, eventually back in my freezer. But uh, stoked, Montana antelope, 2019 season, done deal. Thank you.